he had been maybe doing uh, a thousand uh, uh, cubic uh, meter of rock excavation a month, and in the remaining months he has to get it up to two thousand. Mm -hmm. Right? Anybody who's supervising someone like T.C. Chu should be able to have the intelligence to ask that simple question. All right? It's a very but he question. didn't do it. Right. He didn't do it. It was totally an act of blind faith. And based on that, he dragged the whole government into this thing. Let me just take a quick break. See you soon. Don't go away. The selection of the chief executive by universal suffrage in 2017 will be a milestone in Hong Kong's constitutional development. The basic law sets out the aim of achieving universal suffrage and the relevant principles. On this basis, we can elect our chief executive by one person, one vote. So what does the basic law say? Let's take a look. According to Article 45 of the Basic Law, the selection of the chief executive consists of three steps. First, nomination. A broadly representative nominating committee will be formed to nominate candidates in accordance with democratic procedures. Second, one person, one vote election. All eligible Hong Kong voters will elect the chief executive through one person, one vote. Third, appointment. Appointment by the Central People's Government as the chief executive. Following these steps, we can all elect our chief executive in 2017. Want to promote your latest products on television? ATV's 2014 Ad Easy Package is the right choice for you. Our promotion reaches as far as the Pearl River Delta region and southern China. And our price starts at just $68,000. Call 2992-8890 or our mainland hotline now. Thanks for staying with us. This is Newsline. I'm Michael Chigani. With me is Mr. Michael Tien, a legislative councillor with the New People's Party. He's also the chairman of the Railways Committee in the Legislative Council and former chairman of Kowloon Canton Railway. Well, chairman of the former Kowloon Canton Railway. <laughs> now, uh, Michael Tien, you said, and which was quite astounding, that the CEO of the MTR, Mr. Jay Walder, circumvented the whole board including the chairman of the MTR, went directly to the transport minister, Mr. Anthony Cheung, and told him... And make that, a pledge on behalf a pledge of MTRC. On behalf of MTRC, they would try and get the job done on time. Against the advice of all of the minister's people. Right. Against the government advice, right? The government... And then Anthony Cheung gave him the benefit of the doubt. Now, um, as chairman of the former KCR, could the CEO of the KCR have managed to circumvent you and the entire board and dealt directly with the government on a major issue? The CEO at that time was Mr. K.Y. Young. The, he's somebody, passed away, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody I respected. Mm -hmm. He would, he could, but he would not. He would not do it? He would not. He could, but he would not. But you obviously had your hands very much. He would much give me enough respect. But you had hands on know. on running that railway, right? You were the face of the railway. It didn't matter. I mean, I'm the chairman. I represent, represent the board. If KY at that time, as CEO, mm -hmm. wanted to have a direct dialogue with the monitoring agency. He would have informed you. All right? Because that carries a lot of political connotations. Right. You're interfering with uh, a government agency that is monitoring your progress. Uh, these are not small matters. Well, sh you know, how... It's not, it's not a call among friends and say, hey, trust me. Exactly, but how did this board, the MTR board, which included Anthony Cheung, the Highways Department Director, other government officials, non-executive directors, a lot of them appointed by the government, how come they were all kept in the dark about what was going on? The board didn't seem to know. No, no, no. I don't think they were kept in the dark. They received Monday reports that submitted to them. A couple of board members said on by the day. By T.C. Chu through Jay Walder. Yeah, I know, but Ms. Teen, a couple, of, a couple of board members said on the day that it was revealed that the railway would be delayed by two years that they had only read about it in the newspaper. They weren't told. Oh, that was... 
post November 22nd. Right, right, uh, right. I thought we were talking about last year. No, 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 no. I'm talking the about the day they came and make that pledge. Um, yeah, no, no, I'm talking about that. I'm talking after that, the 